and welcome back to the channel. Today is going to be a quick video, but I do have a story to tell. Um, we're expecting thunderstorms any moment now. It's 9 a.m. in the morning on Sunday. Uh, last week we finished the harvest and it didn't go very well, but you know what? The bees are happy. They all have enough food to get them through dearth and then get them a head start for the fall flow before winter. So I'm very, very happy. Altogether, I got about seven and a half gallons of honey. I'll take it. But that's not what's interesting. What's interesting is all the hives are queen right, even the little green nuke. But the little green nuke has a story. Last week, when I did the harvest, the day after I did the harvest, I came out and I looked at the little green nuke. And there were bees bearding on the outside, and I thought, okay, they're hot. But let me just take a look and let me get inside and, and, and look around. Well, when I got inside the hive, there were hive beetles everywhere. There must have been 200 hive beetles in there. So they weren't bearding, they were getting ready to abscond. Uh, I had bees hanging on the front legs of the stand. I had them hanging on the front board. I had them up the side. Same thing we saw on the Ant Wars video, but that was happening to the resource hive. And then of course we took the bees out of the resource hive, put them in the little blue nuke at the time. And apparently when bees start hanging on the outside of the hive to avoid something on the inside of the hive, they are already pre pre preparing to abscond and they had scouts out. So the little blue nuke at the time, which was suffering from an ant invasion, they absconded anyways, even after I put them in the little blue nuke and gave them a clean place to live. Well, the same thing happened here. Now, remember, we were queenless for a long time and then we just got a queen just two weeks ago. The beetles moved in, they took over, the bees were hanging on the outside. I did what I could, I cleaned all the frames, put new frames in there, killed all the beetles as many as I could. Some of them got away and they're probably in some of the other hives here. Um, but I, I fixed it, I made it right. I got the bees to move back in, I put the queen back in there and everything seemed right. Well, I came out the next day and they were gone. They were, they were all gone. There were no bees left in here. The frames had a, had a, a few bees robbing from other colonies and, and that was it. So I thought, okay, this is, this is no good. It's, it's over. The, the green nuke is, is toast. I was going to move it into the Navy hive, but I found that we do have a queen in the Navy hive now, so we're good there. And I thought, we're done. Well, yesterday, I came out here to the bee yard just looking around, and I had set this back up thinking maybe I'll use it as a swarm trap or I'll put some pollen in there and make it a pollen feeder. But I noticed there were bees going in and out of the front. And I thought, okay, they're just robbing what's left in the comb. So I took the top off and I actually think that bees have moved back in here. Now, I don't know whether it's the same bees that were in here and they flew away and came back, but there are bees living in here. So we're going to get in and see if we can find a queen. And it will be so interesting to find a marked queen in there because wouldn't that be neat? It would be someone else's queen because I haven't marked any of my bees this year. Um, or it just may be another boomerang swarm. They left, were gone for a couple of days and came back. I mean, they were gone for three, four days, and then they came back and repopulated the hive. So let me get my gear on. We'll get in here and take a look around, and then we're going to call it a wrap for the, for the day because it's going to rain. So let's, uh, let's have a look. All right, let's see what we can see in here. Okay, girls, we're coming in. I can't wait to see what I find in here. Please let there be something good. Now watch, it'll be empty. I gave you the big build up and see, I, I don't know what's in here. I've not seen in here. I, I know that I lifted the lid a couple of days ago and there were two, two frames of bees and they weren't robbers. They were, they were living in here. So I, I just hope they're still in here. And we do, and I gave them a pollen patty too, by the way and a jar feeder out front because apparently they had nothing. Oh, there's a, there's a cockroach. I don't like that. Get that roach out of here. Okay. Yeah, these bees are living in here. There are some hive beetles. We don't like that. They're already coming back. Oh, there's another one. Okay. All right, let's see what we can see in here. And if I see hive beetles, I'm going to kill them. You know what? I'm also going to put a beetle trap in here today.
Now, all I had were two drawn out frames. Okay, there's pollen patty number one. Let's move this out of the way. Oh, there's a high beetle, got him. I mean, it was amazing. When I opened this up, there were, I swear to God, there were 300 hive beetles, easy. They were all down in the bottom corner of the box. It was miserable. Show me a queen or your queen. And I believe if she's in here, she's going to be on one of these two frames. This is where all the bees are. This is where the only drawn comb is. Oh, we do. We have bees living in here. They're storing some of the sugar syrup. Okay, do we see a queen? There she is, right there. A very small queen. I don't know whether she's ours. Yeah, that's gotta be ours. It looks just like her. There she is. Son of a gun. So they're back. They're back. Well, this is wonderful. I don't see any, any eggs being laid yet. Let's check the other frame. We know she's on this side of this frame. So she should be safe. I want to squash her. That would be the last thing I want to do. Okay, let's see here. She may not even be mated yet. If that was truly our queen, which it looks like it is because it's a small queen. Okay. Look at that. No eggs yet. But I will take it. I think I have another drawn out frame in the freezer that I will come down here and give them after it thaws out and after the rain has passed. And then I don't think we're going to see anything here, here, or here. So it looks like the little green nuke has not given up. Okay. Pollen patty. The other pieces of it. Girls eat and enjoy. Feed that queen. Get some eggs in there. I'll keep giving you sugar water. I think we will have a working colony here. Right. There we go. Thank you. Right, let's keep the hive beetles out. I only saw the two that we had on the lid. Let's give them that. And that, they have a queen. All right, well, there you go. I appreciate you stopping in to have a look. I apologize that I did more talking in this video than I did looking at bees. Um, but I thought the story was interesting and I really wanted to share it with you before the uh, before the thunderstorm came in today. Um, again, it's nine o'clock in the morning. It's humid as heck and it's, it's gonna rain um, probably for the rest of the day. But that's neither here nor there. The bottom line is, is that we have a queen in this box and it looks like it looks like the same queen that we had in here last time. I'm going to try to find some video from the week before where we found her. I'm going to compare the two and see if uh, see if the queen's the same. I think it is the same queen. Um, but they did abscond. They left for a few days and then they came back and I think what happened is I think they got out there with their virgin queen realized, hey, we've got a queen that can't lay eggs. I don't think any of the bees had their wax glands going yet because they've not built any new wax. So I think they kind of said, hey, we got to get back there where we have a couple of frames and it's a nice box and Bug Farmer takes care of us. So I think that's what they did. Um, we will find out when we look at the, uh, the other video and compare them. Anyways, all that said, I appreciate you stopping by to have a look. Do me a favor. If you like this video, hit the like button. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, take a moment uh, to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified of my new content. By all means, if you have something to say, do me a favor, leave it down in the com or comments. Um, I'll try to respond to you. Uh, we like to 
keep it light and have fun here, and that's what we try to do, and I hope you enjoy that. So with all that said, be happy. I will see you next week. Take care.